YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. Um, some kind of interesting stuff today. Some things that are slight upgrades for me as far as uh, moving things from, you know, uh, greatest hits slash um, platinum hits and so on up into the standard version of it, which I always like to do. I don't have to absolutely have that. I don't mind if something is greatest hits, but it's always nice if you can upgrade it. So I did find something that I was able to do that today couple other items uh, that I was pretty interested in too as well so nothing really stellar here but we'll get down to business immediately the first thing that I found here was at one of the Goodwills now Goodwill is having a 75% off red tag deal today so most of their games are usually priced around five dollars so that means uh, basically paying a dollar twenty five for per game now it doesn't mean every single game that was in the place and this one did not qualify because it's not a red label game it's Resident Evil 4 and so for that one I paid five bucks which is basically what it goes for but I believe mine is a plat or greatest hits version rather I always forget which ones go with which platinum hits greatest hits whatever classic and all this kind of stuff but um, this is uh, something that I think I have the greatest hits version of this so I'll upgrade that and then uh, this is also complete which is really nice and the disc on this one it is pretty decent, has some fingerprints and stuff like that, but it's not too bad, so I figured for $5 I would do that and upgrade a little bit. Um, moving on from that, uh, things that I did pick out actually that are red label games, I picked out four original Xbox titles. Now these had been sitting there for quite some time. Uh, at $5 people weren't really buying them and neither was I, I knew they were sitting there. Uh, so I figured I'd go back on 75% off day and see what I could pick from the titles that were there. and. Fortunately, some of the ones that I was looking at earlier on in the uh, week were still there and uh, with the red tags on them, so that's pretty cool. First one here is Namco, Namco Museum, and this one here I have as a Platinum Hits. I believe I don't think I have this version of it until now, so that's pretty cool. I'll be able to pull for the manual out of one of the other ones that will have to go in here, but the disc on this one is lots of fingerprints and stuff but I'll be able to clean those off obviously and the disc is in pretty excellent condition so pretty happy with that fine for $1.25 I'm not going to turn that down for sure moving on for $1.25 I also found Pac-Man World 2 this is a Platinum Hits Edition I already have this game and I believe I, mine is the Platinum Hits Edition as well but uh, for $1.25 I wasn't going to leave it behind I know there's some sort of hesitations around this game for some people they don't particularly like it I really enjoyed Pac-Man World games, so this is a lot of fun for me, so I thought I would pick it up anyways, and there it is there, it's totally complete, which is really awesome. And the disc, like the other one, has tons of fingerprints and stuff on it, probably from people looking at it, but uh, the disc is in great shape, so that's really nice uh, find right there for sure. I think I'm going to enjoy that, and I'll have to see if this is an upgrade. For me, I mean, it's in really excellent condition for the most part, so that's pretty cool. It just needs to be cleaned up because it's a little dusty and things like that. Moving on from there, I also found a game which I already have, but the version I have of this I think is like disc only or in one of the sleeves because it's the uh, version of this game that came with an original Xbox. And um, it also came with Star Wars Clone Wars, I think was the other game attached to it, and it's Tetris Worlds. So this one here. Um, I don't think I had complete. I'll have to double check and see if I do, but even still for $1.25 I wasn't going to turn this guy down at all. And again, same kind of thing, uh, a little bit dusty and stuff, it just needs to be cleaned up and pretty excellent condition disc right there. So really, really enjoy Tetris and um, I don't really recall this one being a bad Tetris game. I think it's probably pretty good. So, you know, it doesn't matter what system on Tetris is always a lot of fun. So there's that one there. And then moving on, I picked out this game and didn't really know if it had any value or anything like that. And as it turns out, it's actually the wrong game It's in this case, so it's kind of interesting uh, because it's the same game, but just a different version of it. You'll see what I mean in a second. So the case is Colin McRae Rally 3, but inside it's actually Colin McRae Rally 4. And so is the manual and everything, so I don't know how this sort of switch and maru happened, but uh, there it is there, so I don't know a whole lot about the Colin McRae games. Hopefully uh, this one's worth $1.25, but you know, for $1.25, I thought that was kind of interesting and I thought I would bring it home. Hopefully I could find the proper case and stuff like that for that in the future. 
Uh, moving on, there was actually one NES game there, nothing super special, but still, um, you know, no, it wasn't Duck Hunt or something like that, so pretty cool to find NES games out in the wild these days, that's for sure, and I really um, enjoy picking them up, and I always pick them up when I see them pretty much, because uh, they're fewer and far between these days, so this one here I already have in my collection, but still, I thought I would grab it because uh, it's a pretty awesome game. It's Tecmo Super, Mo Super Bowl. Now this one here is a little more valuable than the regular Super Bowl. Uh, sorry, the regular Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl game, but uh, this is still uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Like I was saying, I do have this in my collection. I think the one that I have is probably in better shape than this one, although this one is in excellent shape. So that's really sweet right there. Um, again, I'll probably just use that to trade off or sell off with a system or something like that. But still, pretty cool find right there for three dollars. What I got that one for, so pretty happy that's for sure uh, to be able to find NES games out in the wild these days. Like I said, it was few and far between. Uh, moving on, also in the same store, and this is a pretty cool find too. I actually like getting things like this because um, my TV is not like super far away, but uh, my consoles are sometimes in the minimal distance away from the from where my couch is and stuff like that kind of thing, and um, doesn't quite reach, and I don't have the ability to sort of sit back and enjoy it or have to pull the console out and set it on the floor like back in the day because that problem hasn't changed but this helps definitely with that kind of situation and it's a PS1 slash PS2 extension cable um, for that there I paid $1.50 so that's pretty cool I like to find these and definitely was in need of one of these so really cool find right there moving on I went to uh, the other Goodwill and found a couple of games. Unfortunately, there's nothing there red tag that I wanted today, but um, and none of the games actually had red tags on them at all, so either somebody went through and cleared them out already or something like that, but um, their games were mostly priced for $5 now. They had a lot of games, but they were all like sports titles, this kind of thing, so I wasn't really interested in what they had, but there is a couple of, I guess, sports titles um, in the unconventional sense of sports titles, I guess, that I did find for PlayStation 1 that I'll share with you right now. So, the first one here is Sled Storm, and it's a collector's edition version of it. Now, I can't recall with these collector's edition if there's a third one that goes with these, with this one. I do have um, another one that I'm going to show you here in a second, so I don't know if in this pack there was supposed to be three, but uh, no big deal with this because still pretty cool because I didn't have this in my collection and I love collecting PlayStation games so this is awesome right here Sledstorm for PlayStation and the disc on this one uh, needs a definite cleaning I don't know if there's any major problems with it it looks a little bit nah it's not really that bad it probably just needs a cleaning there are some sort of scuffs and things on it but no deep scratches or anything like that so still pretty cool and then moving on I also picked up the collector's edition of NASCAR Rumble, which is really nice as well because I don't believe I have this in my collection. I'm pretty sure I don't. So that's kind of nice. The one on this one also has some scratches and things like that. So hopefully uh, that will play. I don't think there's anything super deep there. And I can always resurface it, I guess, if I need to. So that's pretty cool right there. NASCAR Rumble. Picked that up for $2 as well. So that's everything that I picked up today. Like I was saying, nothing super stellar. A few little upgrades and things like that here, and obviously some trading fodder and whatnot. Now, I'm going to be uh, releasing very shortly, and have to film it still and record it and organize everything first, but I'm going to be organizing my uh, trade video that's going to go along with the Waterloo retro video game swap. So I'm going to be coming up with that shortly. So if you're going to that, you know, pay attention because I will be releasing a video of all the stuff that I'm bringing. I literally have a huge bun, bin, rather bun. <laughs> I have a huge bin, rather, of stuff that I'm bringing to that show. Uh, stuff that's going to be available for trade. And basically it's going to be uh, first come, first serve as far as making deals with uh, the stuff that I'm showing. So if you're going to that show, make sure that you kind of keep an eye out for that. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.